This is a photo from YCS Cancun that is happening right now in Cancun, Mexico, as I'm recording this, which would be yesterday for when you're watching this. And should this be concerning? This has been going around all over Twitter, and I think people are dooming about this specific image that shows a YCS, which is the highest tier of Yu-Gi-Oh! event besides, you know, a world championship event. And considering the fact that Konami has decided that this one is going to be in Cancun, there was another Cancun YCS, I think, a year ago, and this definitely didn't look the same. But there could be reasons why this is the case right now. Before we dive into that, first of all, shout out to House of Champs, because I'm going to be quoting a lot of his tweets. He's doing good work on Twitter. Another pain point in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game right now is uh, this image that I procured from Japanese Twitter, where you can see on the left side a pile of bulk with rares and commons, where it says 1 for 33 yen, which is approximately 22 cents. And on the right side, there is a screenshot from Gamer's Choice for Amalchami Fuaris, Secret Rare from Rage of the Abyss, for $149.99 which is approximately a 6,000% increase, I think, maybe even 60,000. It's big. It's big. So this is another huge pain point for the game right now. Pricing leading to lower event attendance. Is it actually lower? We're going to check in this video and we're going to see if that's actually the case. But regardless, expensive cards have been a thing for a while. Like that hasn't changed. And besides a nice little surprise with Tenpai Dragon when they released as supers and commons, Flawless, a card that is comparable to Maxi, format warping, game warping card that hopefully everybody should have in their binder because this card will define deck building from now on, is highly inaccessible. $150 is not accessible at all. And this is one of the problems that people are facing right now. Konami, on the, on the one hand, is limiting Maxi in the OCG, wants you to play Malcharmies and limiting the Malcharmy effects as well. And on the other hand, pricing you out of the game. They want you to use it, but they also make it a secret rare, even though people would have benefited from this being a super or an ultra, so that... Konami can have the game design philosophy vision that they want. Granted, not always the OCG and the TCG are aligned on what they want. We can see that from the Forbidden and Limited List philosophy, where Baron, Savage, Link, Aribu, Apo, Band, on the OCG side, nothing like that. Different philosophies, but Konami in the West is not managing to keep up, and of course they are capitalizing on you know, you buying cards. Now, people have pointed out that this might have been a mistake. The actual retail-ish price on the secondary market in Japan is usually around $10 for this card, which is still less than 10 times the price of, of what it is. So whether it's $0.22 cents or $10, it's a price I'm sure everybody watching this would have been willing and happy to pay. Now, regardless... The amount of players last year from this year, I believe the numbers are um, around close to 800 in last year, right? You can see that from the amount of tables, the amount of buys, so it's around 700 or 800 players. And now you can see that it's around between 300 and 400 players. So let's say half the attendance and... People have been really concerned about this. Like, this image is really rough, right? But people have been commenting that there could be an explanation for this. And people have been saying that right now there's a new law in Mexico that requires a visa to travel, and it's not easy for anyone to travel. So that could be an additional struggle and... Kind of a mess up on Konami side if they don't like if they if people are going to be needing visas to go to a YCS, obviously it's going to complicate things and they're not going to do a YCS in a place where it's inaccessible to other people. Um, they don't want a 300 
person wise yes surely another thing is that um there we go there is currently a hurricane alert in the gulf of mexico and cancun which is also one of the most expensive cities in mexico to travel to so on one hand there could be people canceling their travel appointments and canceling their travel plans or just can't afford from other parts of Mexico to go to Cancun because Cancun is obviously one of the largest tourist cities in Mexico. So people might not be able to afford it from other parts of Mexico. And in addition to that, the hurricane alert thing in the Gulf of Mexico is real. It has been repeated over and over in the comments. Is that the fact? Why is that the reason why people haven't attended and there's only half attendance based on last year's numbers? I don't know the visa thing. I don't know. But I want you to have the full picture and look at everything in context because it is, it's possible that there are other reasons. But on the other hand, there could be other reasons as well that people are fatigued from this format, waiting for Rage of the Abyss. This is like like a week before Rage of the Abyss. Pretty poorly timed out YCS. Another interesting thing based on Konami. So Konami is like lacking in pricing. They just changed the Switch prize to a Steam Deck over in the EU last YCS, which actually had great attendance, by the way. And they are sending a lot of love to Noah Lyles, who's here with a 100 Thieves shirt representing and konami sent him a bunch of stuff like a bunch bunch of stuff giant cards dual discs shoes whatever right obviously this guy is and this is i think a long time coming because he's been representing Yu-Gi-Oh on the big stage he's an olympic runner gold medalist by the way he's a very known figure in the in the states and he's got the, the silver, platinum, dark magician, giant blue eyes card, blah, blah, blah from Konami. This is great. I think it's great that they're sending him this. And he's got the, the frame here with all the Exodia cards. He got ghost rares. He got like thousands of thousands of dollars. And it's on one hand awesome to see. On the other hand, Konami, you could be doing this for your own players and not Noah Lyles, who's obviously a big public figure, and it's worth for him to upload these stories, and this is probably a part of the contract of sending him this. But, you know, we feel left out. We are the dedicated audience that wants your love. And some people are just going to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! because of that. And Fi, who's my co-host on the tier, the Table Zero podcast here on the channel, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you haven't seen Fi's Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, they're incredible world-renowned um, video essay maker, amazing content, but I will say it, I have not played a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! since the ban list. We did an episode on, on that ban list, but that was probably it, and I gotta say, I kind of share the same sentiment. I have no motivation to buy a new deck. The new decks from Rage of the Abyss are very expensive, or at least the new staples, and yeah, here in the in, in the EU, we barely even had regionals up until now. It just was announced like earlier this week. So yeah, people are leaving. YCS Lille happened um, last weekend. 180, sorry, 1,897 1, duelists. So <clears throat> this, people thought that this was not that much. I think it's a very good number for, for a card game event in the EU. And this has been the first European YCS since Bologna 2023. Very close to a year without a European YCS. And if you want to see attendance, EUWCQ 2023, 1,900 1, duelists. A year later, a spike of 300 more duelists, right? And attendance has been like pretty, pretty solid. Like two thousand players, three thousand players. This is early twenty twenty three. Uh, I wonder if we can find Cancun. There we go. Cancun this year around five hundred. It's going to be less. It's going to be around three hundred and fifty. 
And last year, it was 766. So do we actually know the reason? I'm not sure. This image is circulating around, and I think it's important to understand that there may be misinformation about it. A lot of people from the US, a lot of the, the pros that you see in every single event have arrived there. So maybe it's not the end of the world, but we'll, we'll have to see after this event concludes on what the actual reasons were. And hopefully we, you know, we ride towards a better future because this is a huge, huge L for Konami that has, I believe in my book at least, amounted to some W's recently, but this is just not it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.